Good morning, viewers. My name is Imran. I'm a UK and international tax specialist. Now, today I'm going to explain to you what is a married couple allowance and a marriage allowance. This video is related to UK taxation. So, if you're studying ACCA, ACA, and CTA, so this topic is highly useful for you. The examiner will test this topic a lot. Um, also helpful for individuals studying their graduates in accountancy and finance it's also helpful for those individuals who wish to understand if there are any allowances available for married couple so they can take advantage so this question can form a part of your tax planning or the examiner can mind ask you um, question and they will say is can you calculate how much tax this individual will pay um, because they would give you a scenario so sometime three to four months question and as as i say is an acca acm ct exam two three months really matters because most of the students failing their exam or some of the students failing their exam by one or two or three months so it's good to get marks from every single corner so let's begin married couple allowance so this allowance is available it's the way it's what is does not reduce the amount of income for tax. However, it, it reduces your tax bill instead. So how does it work? MCA works by deducting 10% of allowance from the tax due of your taxable income. So what you need to do is you will calculate, calculate your taxable income um, and then you will work out your taxable income, then apply the tax rate. And then this reducer would apply. Uh, the MCA, the rate is 9,415 for 2022-23. It will change every year. So you have to uh, visit HMRC website um, if you can't afford to buy the legislation books. So these rates will be available there. It will be given to you an exam as well. So married couple allowance. How does it work? For all marriage, before 5th of December 2005, this tax reducer is given to husband only. The marriage after that date, so then the allowance will be given in the way to a couple with the higher um, total income for the year. For example, if the husband has higher income, obviously, this will be given to the husband. If the wife has a higher income than the husband, obviously, it will be given to wife because our aim is to reduce their tax bill so if you work as a tax advisor so you would advise it this way okay an individual is entitled for mca if if he or she is married um, um in a several partnership living together that is condition married plus living together if they are married and not living together this mca or married couple allowance is not available at least one of them was born before 6th of april 1935 that was introduced somewhere back in 2015. Uh, I would suggest uh, that HMRC should change it, the date from 6th of April 1935 to somewhere 6th of April 1944. So most of individuals can benefit from this because if you look at the date, there are few individuals are alive. So it's meaningless, you know, it's pointless. It was, it was meaningful in 2015, 16, 17, but it's like most of the people that live 80, 85, they don't make it to 88 or 89. I mean, you must be at least 89 years old if you're claiming in, in 2024. So MCA can be transferred in between or shared. How does it work? So depending on what arrangement provides the best our aim is to reduce the tax bill in the, in, a, in a manner that it reduce our tax bill. For example, if your income, so this is, look at this one, is also very important. If your income goes about 31,400, this limit has been increased to 34,600, your MCA will be reduced. How it will be reduced for one pound increase above this threshold, your MCA will go down by 50 pence. So look at the formula below. So your MCA is 9,415. If individual adjusted net income goes above 31,400, so the MCA will reduce by one divided by two. So you will be still getting um, some allowance.
Um, Simon, this example, Simon is aged 89 and his wife is 79. They have been married for over 40 years. Simon has adjusted net income of 33,000. So it's about threshold, so 31,400. So he's almost 1,600 pound up. So simple, if you look at the calculator, you don't even need a calculator. So 1,600 divided by two, so his allowance will be reduced by 800 pounds. Yeah, it's a basic calculation. So Simon also, but the condition is very important. Simon was born before 6th of April 1935. Hence he's eligible. He's been married and also living together with his wife. The only thing, the only hurdle is that his net income exceeds the threshold, but it doesn't mean it will only reduce the um, allowance. So if you calculate like this, so Simon tax liability would be, so obviously you always calculate, you take the net income, then less person allowance, you will have a taxable income, then apply the tax rate, and then the reducer, very bottom, as I say, is the reducer does not reduce your income for tax, it reduces your tax liability. So it's always working as the as the final part of the calculation. So your so your allowance would be reduced by 800 pounds. So whatever left multiplied by 10%. So the tax due is obviously has been reduced by 861 pounds. Obviously it's a quite a big reduction. Other points to remember. Taxpayers born before 6th of April are always entitled for minimum allowance of 3,640. So it means that if your income is 70,000 or 80,000, okay, they, the allowance will not diminish. They will still sell some allowance. So 3,640. It can't go below 3,640. So any eligible individual will be still entitled for minimum MCA even if their adjusted net income in excess of 100,000. If your adjusted net income is in excess of 100,000, you start to lose your personal allowance. However, the MCA is available. The minimum would be 3,640. MCA must be a portion. Um, so the way it works is like as simple as that. If if a couple married in the middle of the year, so the MCA would be a portion um, by amount of months. So here's an example. I'll give you illustration here. A couple, one age 89, the other one 79, got married on 29th of January 2023. So obviously, um, they married only because it's only three years left, um, no, sorry, three months left for the year to finish because the UK year, um, financial year began from April to the, so like from 6th of April to 5th of uh, April, the following year. So we'll keep it simple. Let's say it's begin from 1st of April and ending 31st of March. So ignore the, uh, this five or six days. Then obviously Simon wasn't married last like April 2022, 20, um, May 2022. He just got married only when there was a three months left uh, end of the year. So for the year to end. So in this case is Simon allowance would be proportion by, for those three months. Other points to remember, no apportionment needed. So apportionment is only needed in the year of the marriage. No apportionment needed in case of if there is a separation or one spouse die. Okay, an individual cannot claim MCA un unless they are living together. So that's the condition as well. So what will happen is sometimes people go their way. I mean, they do the separation and some in individual are wealthy. So it takes a while for them to for the divorce to be finalized because they need to divide the assets so if if they are in this process okay so and they're not living together they will lose their entitlement for um mca simple marriage allowance this are different this this one is different than the married couple allowance so the marriage allowance um, is available for any married couple Okay, it's no like the the sixth of April nineteen thirty five rule does not apply here. So one so the way it work is one individual must elect to transfer their personal allowance to the other partner. So how the election work is when you're doing your self assessment, HMRC would ask you. There's a box. 
do you wish to transfer your personal allowance to other spouse you click yes and then the other individual um, would claim this allowance on their self-assessment if they're not eligible or they're not doing their self-assessment the hmrc would clearly understand because when you make this election hmrc asking the name of the name of individual their date of birth their national insurance and that's how they would recognize this individual in the, and they would give them the tax relief so the election will reduce the tax where one of the spouse either has insufficient income so if both spouses are earning more than their personal allowance so obviously they cannot elect because this election will be useless for instance one individual earning 13 12,570 the other individual on 12,570 okay so there's a personal allowance for both they will not pay any taxes if other individual if one individual earning 13,000 the other one earning 13,000 so they both utilize they both will utilize their personal allowance so they cannot be any transfer personal allowance can be only transfer if your taxable income is less than the person allowance so then a part of your person allowance okay you can transfer to your other uh, half or to your husband or wife I, like say it's mean like so either way okay so the amount of person allowance can be transferred is only 10 percent of your person allowance can be transferred you cannot just say oh i want to transfer oh whole 12,570 12, no only 10 percent of this okay and this will be rounded down to the nearest multiple so the amount the maximum amount can be transferred is 1257 however you will round it down to 1260 if you don't if you forget to round it down still the examiner won't you won't lose mark you will still get the mark however it's best to understand uh, they they just give um, an impression to examiner that you really you read the book and you really understand marriage allowance mechanism the recipient obtain a reduction of his income tax liability equal to 20 percent so you will transfer 10 percent of your person allowance and the individual will get 20 percent tax relief so we therefore reduce the tax liability at the bottom half okay by um, so you transfer 1260 and that will be multiplied by 20 percent okay so this can uh, however for instance um, remember the tax bill will reduce by 252 so if another partner has a tax liability of 200 obviously we are transferring here 252 this cannot generate a 52 pound refund it means is this 200 pound will be automatically cancelled with this 252 you cannot expect a refund your tax bill will go down to zero if anything is left you cannot have a tax refund simple marriage allowance condition couple must be married that is condition number one there's no requirement for them to live together okay they can be one can be living in other city it's, it sometimes happen because the individual because of the reason of employment um, it's very often that the husband is living in London working just to make some money and the wife is in Birmingham or Manchester obviously the marriage couple marriage couple sorry marriage allowance will be available the individual born before 1935 may be qualified for both so remember individual born before April 1935 he will be eligible for MCA married couple allowance and also will be eligible for marriage allowance however the married couple allowance generate a big tax saving so obviously he will opt um, for married couple allowance you cannot have both neither spouse so the condition is that both of the um, so both of the tax pairs should be uh, paying tax at the basic rate if one of the spouse paying tax at the higher rate say if for example one of the if the husband is earning 60,000 obviously then there will be no marriage allowance available okay because one of the spouse earning uh, money which is taxed at the rate of 40 percent marriage allows condition so the, the, the individual must be married or a several partnership both in the tax year in which the election apply and at the time the election is made so as i say is how the election work 
is not a rocket science. Election is there's a box in the tax return. You just click it. Yes, you wish to claim it. Okay. However, election can be made after the it's possible to make after the death of one of the spouse. So either by the surviving spouse or their personal representative. Okay, the election must be made within four years of the end of the tax year to which applied. For instance, you wish to claim marriage allowance for 2022-23 or for 2023-24. So you will have a time almost like another four years. So if you miss that deadline, you cannot claim it. You ideally you should claim it in the same year, but if you miss it, for example, you fall, it's like reached to 2025-26. You, and then you heard from someone, oh, there was a marriage allowance was available. And then, so the HMRC still give the window is open, so you can still claim it. And now, if you are in 2026 and 27, and then you just heard of this one, and then you wish to claim it, and you miss it, yes, you can still claim it. The, there are four years, so the window is open for four years. There is example, Simon has employment income of 40,000. His wife, Anita, has a property income of 11,000. So Anita is earning less than the person allowance. So Anita can transfer 1,257 pound um, allowance to the husband. So because the maximum is restricted to 10 persons. So Anita, so Anita person allowance will be 1,257 minus 1,260 can be transferred. We say always, we round it down to the nearest 10. So 1,257. So in exam, you will put it as a 1,260 because it's the nearest 10. Okay. So um, so Anita, personal allowance will be left by um, um, 11,130 because a part will be transferred to the um, husband. And then obviously, Anita income is covered by the personal allowance. What is the benefit for Simon? So you will calculate. So Simon income is 40,000 is a basic rate taxpayer. That's why marriage allowance is available. If the Simon would be earning 55,000, no, there would be no marriage allowance because exceeding the basic limit. So 40,000 minus 12,570 as usual, you deduct the personal allowance, multiplied by 20%. Then I need to transfer 1260 of allowance, marriage allowance to the husband. So the Simon received this allowance multiplied by 20 percent so he will get the 20 percent relief okay so 252 so the tax uh, simon tax bill has been reduced by 252 pound thanks for watching if you do have any queries or any points or any suggestion uh, please um, drop me comments um, I'm, I'm happy to answer your queries uh, i have also videos regarding exam benefit, taxable benefit, uh, also have videos related to exempt income and taxable income. I will be making more videos for the student so they can get the benefit from those videos and they will have a better understanding because an exam that the tax question can be tricky. However, if you do have the knowledge, if you know the condition, what's important, if you know the condition, if you know the technique, if you know the mechanism, nothing is hard. You can easily take a examiner can test, twist the question. However, just you need to be focused. Make sure eligibility, look for eligibility. If it's eligible, the condition satisfy, then you start your calculations straight away. Okay. Also, just be careful if the examiner is asking married couple allowance or marriage allowance, two different things. So make sure you read both and understand both and then you can do your practice from your books and that would help you to pass your exam um, you can subscribe to my channel i will be making more videos about corporation tax and heritage tax i'm just covering topics in, in each one so because the reason is i can just make one video and explain all corporation tax however this is not going to help you if you're going for a professional exam you need to understand topic because the examiner testing sometimes they have a full length of a lengthy question and they would give you and that lengthy question um, some topics related to a married couple allowance or marriage allowance so if you do this uh, if you manage it very well you get two to three marks okay sometimes it might give you a short question so it's always like two to three marks and which is very important 
So if you gain two to three miles here, then you gain some um, some taxable benefit on the car living accommodation two to three miles here. OK, so, so these two, three miles always help you to pass your exam. Um, I'm wishing you a good day. Thank you so much. Bye now.